While our commentary is generally considered family-friendly, this game is rated M by the ESRB. Hello and welcome back to more Stephen Amal play Telltale Games The Walking Dead. On the last episode, so many things. We've been exploring Crawford. We managed to get the battery um, for the car. We managed to get the, or not, well, it's a car battery, but it's for a boat. We managed to get the fuel for the boat, but we um, needed medical supplies. We found our way into the nurse's office. Oh, you could check the clock. Stop working. Oh, that helped. Um, and in the nurse, nurse's office, we found a camcorder and a tape. Now that Mal's in control, she's going to put that tape in the camcorder and see what happens. Empty. Figures. The tape's got to be around here somewhere. Keep looking. It's in my hand. Is there power? We have battery. Bernie, Krista, come look at this. This is day 82 since the outbreak. 1547. Dr. Logan in consultation with patient Anna Correa. Why are you recording this? Regulations. Oberson has ordered me to keep records of all medical examinations and consultations. I need you to brace yourself, Anna. The sonogram confirms that you're pregnant. Oh god, oh god, oh god. As you know, the rules are very clear. The termination is mandatory. You don't have to tell them. Tell them it was just nausea. But you gave me something for it and it went away. This is my problem, not yours. If Oberson finds out that I concealed evidence of a pregnancy, I'm sorry, but these are the rules. I'm going to give you a sedative. It'll make the procedure easier on you. I don't want the procedure! I want my baby! I can't do this! I can't do this! Anna, you don't have a choice. Now, if you like, you can take some time with this, but I need you to come back no later than tomorrow, or I'll have no choice but to inform Oberson myself. I'm sorry. Jesus. Hmm. Damn it, we almost had it. What the hell kind of place was this? Like Molly said, the worst kind. Lee, maybe there's another tape. We gotta keep looking. I think I recognize that doctor. He was one of the walkers out in the alley by the auto shop. Maybe you should search it. See what he's got on. I don't want to go back out there. Too bad. Aww. Looks like that's where you're heading. Also, man, this game wants to cover everything, don't they? We uh -huh. never talked to Krista, did we? We didn't. Should you? Nah. Let's just get this done with. Okay. That's fine. You do you. I'm just saying, this game c covers starving children, forced abortions, like, the, basically the writer sat down and was like, what's, is it possible to cover everything? Is it possible to make the, uh, the player feel terrible about every single thing? And they decided, yes, they could do it. really want to come out here. You have to jump the thing again? Probably. How will, how will you get back? Oh, it was no. on. It was on the other side, and it was barbed wire. I mean, whatever. You know what to do. Ah! <gasps> oh god! Oh god! You got this, Mal. You're fine. <laughs> TV crushed him. Honestly, I'm pretty sure that's probably happened to people before. It'd probably be a He's terrible, gone. terrible way to die. Oh, he's crawling away. Catch him. I'm going. Where do you think you're going, buddy? <sighs> Alright. Find that tape. Before more show up. Son of a gun. This might be just what we need. And what's this? Looks like some kind of code. But Vernon said the safe combination was only four numbers. Logan was that locker. Shit. Time to go. Please don't make me run all yeah, the way back. Yeah, I, I oh, knew they were going to auto-load it. it. Made the most sense. Okay, so now you go back to the nurse's office and you have another tape to look at. Very quickly becoming a, t a detective game. Must have been his locker. Another tape. The safe combination has got to be on one of these. 
Hmm. You got all sorts of things to check now. Mm hmm. Interesting. All right. I found two more tapes. One of them is dated October 10th. That's the day after the first one we watched. Put it in. Have you made a decision? I thought you said I didn't have a choice. Well, technically you do. You can terminate the pregnancy or leave Crawford. Of course, that would be a death sentence for both you and your unborn child. Maybe that's best. I stayed up all last night thinking about this. Why are we even trying to survive? To keep on living? If this is what it takes. If this is what it's turned us into. I don't make the rules, Anna. Doctor, I'm begging you. Please help me. Maybe one day, when things are different, you can try again. But for now, today, we have to do this. Enhance. Enhance. <laughs> No. No. Oh, man. Well, that ended differently than I suspected it would. Mm-hmm. I think we know what happened to Crawford. More importantly, we got the combination. Did we only watch one of the two tapes? Yeah. Krista, are you all right? What's wrong? It's nothing. That was just hard to watch. Don't worry about me. I'm fine. All right. Let's get those meds and get the hell out of here. You picked up on it so early, Mal. <laughs> Good job. We're in business. Antibiotics, morphine. We'll take as much of this as we can carry. Okay, I think we're good. This is more than enough for your people and mine. Let's go. You know, I found a third tape in the locker outside. Maybe there's something else on there. We got the meds for Omid. That's all I care about. We'll head back to the classroom. Don't take too long, Lee. Oh, man. I have a suspicion about this one, too. I can't wait to find out. Throw it in. Mini DV. Listen, as fun as this was, I have to put a stop to this little arrangement. This is the last I can give you. Why? Oberson had someone down here yesterday taking inventory. He's really cracking down. I just can't risk it. We had a deal. Yes, we had a deal. We don't anymore. My sister needs this medicine. Without it, she'll die or she'll start showing symptoms and they'll take her away. I can't let that happen. I'm sorry, Molly. I've done all I can, but I have to look out for myself here. Yeah, that's the Crawford way, isn't it? Hmm. It doesn't really... Oh, shit. I don't know, that doesn't make me feel ill towards Molly. No. I mean, it she just was... explains her history a bit. Yeah. Like, it just, it, it, it just explains, you know, why she has these feelings about it and what she was willing to do to help her sister. And we learned she has a sister. She may not after this. Jesus <gasps> Christ! Oh, you scared the God. shit out of me. Where the fuck have you been? Sightseeing. I'll take that battery now. Oh, yeah. Uh, about that. I'm just kidding. Man, that was a bad joke. <laughs> mm -hmm. Here you go. What's that? Nothing. Forget it. We got what we came here for. Let's just go. What the hell? Mal, drop the subject. I think uh -huh. that's our cue to get the hell out of here. Now who's ringing the bell? Oh yeah, because Molly rings the bells. Hmm. 
This can't be good. Uh-uh. Oh, Jesus! Chip! Bear. Sorry, sorry. I just got spooked by those bells, and then I heard someone coming. Kenny and I still can't get the door open to the armory. He sent me out to look for something we can use to bust it open. I found this. Oh, uh, God, ben. ben. Where did you get that? I just found it. It was stuck in the door handle at the end of the hallway back there. Oh, no. Shit! Man, he is a stupid kid. I'm ready for quick time. I was trying. Thanks. It wasn't me. Good going, kid. Nice shot. Oh, good job, Clementine. Dang. What the fuck is going on? They're coming. Oh shit. That ought to hold them. Sir, but now how do we get out? Through the armory. We can just get this damn door open. Come on, damn you! Oh boy. This is my fault, all my fault. What the hell's he babbling about? Ben, we talked about this. No, wait. I want to know what he meant. What do you mean this is all your fault? Penny, I'm so sorry. I'm so oh sorry. Oh god, Dan. no, no, Jim, no. This ain't the best time. Whatever you did, save it for later. Ben, we don't have time for this now. I'm sorry, we I can't do this anymore. He's got a right to know. Know what? It's been me all along, putting all of us in danger. Katja and Duck, it was all me. It was all me. Wait a minute. What are you saying? It was me who made the deal with the bandits at the Motor Inn, slipping them supplies. I thought maybe I could keep them off our backs. When it got discovered, that's when they attacked. And that's when Duck... Yep. Kitty man. I agree with you. You should kick his ass. But now's not the time. You gotta focus on getting out of here. You little pissant! You're fucking dead, you hear me? Dead! My wife and child! You gotta both fucking kill! Kenny, listen to me. You can whip his skinny little ass later. But right now, we gotta go! Nice group you got here. Not the time, Molly. If this asshole thinks he's getting on my boat after what he did, he's out of his motherfucking mind! Kenny, we'll sort this out later. After we get out of here, okay? Ain't nothing to sort out. I just told you the way it's gonna be. The boat's not big enough for all of us. Somebody's gotta get left behind. Might as well be this piece of shit right here! Well, I vote we leave him. I'm sorry, Ben. I know you mean well. But all I want to do is get back to Omid, and you put that at risk. Wait, don't I get a vote? Of course you do. Ben's nice. He's my friend. We don't leave friends behind. That's my vote. On second thought, I think I'm gonna abstain. Lee? Oh, God. I've seen enough of Crawford to know that becoming like them is the beginning of the end. I vote Ben stays with us. You make Clementine what about happy. The rest of mm -hmm. us? Don't we get a say? No. You you had a vote, but it's just been canceled. Sorry about that, Bree. Now, if you hurry, you can get your now vote in. Damn right, Vernon. Come on. Armory, yay. What kind of school is this? So much for the armory. What's left of it? Hmm. A few rounds. That's it. You didn't close that door behind us? I could. The lock was busted. Great. Just fucking great. Come on. There's gotta be a way out down here. Good God. Well, pleasure meeting you here. <laughs> it's not gonna hold. Back upstairs! Look! Shotgun time. <laughs> Take him out, Mal. I or, didn't do a thing. Or when you have to. Use oh, the left, left stick, stick to get away. And also shoot them. How many shots are in this? Um, 
plenty, apparently. <gasps> really? No. You may have to shoot also. Oh yeah, I'm seeing that now. Cause like... That was funny. <laughs> that was a, oh, now that's your insides. Now you know what they look like. I, you were you were really focused. <laughs> you were really focused on your leg, and yeah, I was thinking, I was like, my you, leg. there are zombies coming. Oh god, where's the zombie? There you go. Look down more. Look up again. Oh god. <laughs> now you are an expert at <laughs> at getting your innards to come on out. If there was an award for how many innards you can hey. pull out, it would be given to you. Okay, look down, leg. Three okay. leg. Look up, zombie. Look down, leg. You've got it all figured out. Look up. No zombie, leg. Leg. <laughs> look up again. Look down. Oh, let's wait, let's wait. Let's get you two. Okay, leg. <laughs> Third time's a charm. Why does this game have to be so... You got good friends. Saving your butt. Goodbye. Now you get all Goodbye. the action sequences. It's okay. Goodbye. Freaking Mel Gibsoning Goodbye. these guys right now. Goodbye. Hello. Goodbye. Oh, I wanted my gun. Okay. You mean your axe? Come on. I thought he was taking my gun. Oh, I think he had the axe. It's all right, Clive. I'm fine. That twice, Any but I'm fine. Here? This leads to the roof. We might be able to find a way down from there. You didn't come into town from the railroad, did you? Yeah. Why? Never mind. I can see the sewer where we came in from here. I think we can do this. Well, what are we waiting for? Go, go! Good God. Yeah, we're fine. Yeah, come on, let's go! Why is that ringing? Why is that ringing? Oh. Oh my god. On, I've got you! Ben, climb up! Come on, you can do it! There's no time! You have to go! Now! Fuck it around, Ben! Come on! Let go, damn it! Get Clem and the others out of here! Lee! I think you have to make the decision. I think I do too. Maybe not. Let me go. Oh. You let him go. Man. Was it a hard decision to make? Yes. Yeah, they tore him uh they tore him apart. Yeah. Man. Krista? Everything okay? Oh, me! Clem, stay back. Don't get any closer. I never should have left you. I'm so sorry. Krista, get away from him! Uh. Hey. Back already? We got you medicine. Good. Feel like I could use some. Hmm. Where's Ben? He didn't make it. What happened? Dumb son of a bitch nearly got us all killed. Lee stepped up and did what he had to. 
That's what happened. Thanks a lot. You did the right thing. Trust me. She'll understand. Man, I hope so. I'm gonna go start work on the boat. Thank God okay. you made that decision. With a little luck, you should start yeah. feeling better pretty soon. I'll stay here for a few more hours to check on him. Let me know if you need anything. Thanks, Doc. Yes, thank you so much. Maybe now's a good time for you and me to have a little talk in private. Listen, man. About what happened to Bree. Don't beat yourself up over it. There was nothing you could have done. You want to know the worst part? What? I don't feel much. I mean, I don't feel enough. Shouldn't I be broken up over what happened to her? That's how I was when I lost my daughter. When I lost my friends in those first few weeks. But now, it's like I just take something like this in stride. Like this is what our world is now, and we'd better just get used to it. What did you want to talk to me about? I know you care about Clementine. Anyone can see that. And I know you want what's best for her. But this plan of yours, putting everyone on a boat with no destination, do you really think that's her best chance of finding somewhere where she can be safe? Because I don't. So I want to make you an offer. What kind of an offer? I'll take her off your hands, take her back with me, to my people. We're well supplied, well hidden, and a lot of us have had kids of our own. And now Crawford's fallen, we got nothing left to fear from them. She'll be safe with us. Safer than she will be if she stays with you, I promise you. That's what you want for her, isn't it? To be safe? I'm gonna pretend you didn't say any of this and give you a chance to walk away. Which you ought to do right now. I know you think you're doing what's best for her. And if you were her real father, we wouldn't be having this conversation. But you're not. And staying with you is not what's best for her. If no one else around here will tell you that, then I will. That little girl's in my care. We've been through more together than you can imagine. Anyone who tries to get between me and her, anyone, is gonna wind up dead. You hear me? Take your hands off me. Hey, going somewhere? Yeah, I'm about to head out. I, I just wanted to say thanks. For everything. It's been fun. What are you talking about? Kenny's working on the boat right now. Thought you were coming with us. God knows you earned it. Yeah, I've been thinking it over. It's not for me. Sounds like it'd be pretty crowded. And I never did like the water. You sure about this? I'm sure. I've always done better on my own, anyhow. Listen, I'm not much for goodbyes. Tell the others for me? Sure. You take care of yourself, Molly. You too, Lee. And you be sure to take care of that little girl. You know she thinks the world of you. Good luck. Ain't nothing to do with luck. Hmm. They're really good about making us say goodbye to multiple people at once. <laughs> uh. Hey, sweet pea. Kenny's working on the boat. I know. What are we going to do after he fixes it? Where will we go? Someplace else. Someplace better. Clem, honey, what's wrong? What happened to Ben? 
What did Kenny mean when he said you did what you had to? Ouch. Clementine, this may be hard to understand right now, but sometimes for the good of everyone, we have to make tough choices. Ben was putting us all in danger in Crawford, so I made a decision, and I left him behind. I know that sounds bad, but I had to think about the whole group, not just one person. But I'm just one person. Not to me, you're not. Before we leave tomorrow, will we have time to look for my parents? I'd like to, Clem, but I don't think we'll have time. We really shouldn't stay here any longer. It's not safe. Wait, we're not at the end of the episode? I thought that was it. <sighs> Clementine? Clementine? Walkie's gone. Really? longer than I thought. Clementine? Clementine! Oh, God. We gotta be at the end. Yeah. This has gotta it's be It's gonna the be end. a cliffhanger. Yeah. Oh gosh. Hmm. <laughs> Did I get bit? To be a dream. Oh, no, 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 fuck. Lee? Lee? You out here? Lee? I don't think so. Are you crazy? What are you doing out here? It ain't safe. What should I Lee? do? Where's Clementine? Make the decision She's not now. In the room. Vernon ain't in the house either. What the hell is going on? Whose blood is that? It's a walker's. Fucker jumped me from behind. So where's Clementine? Clementine's gone. I found her hat and her radio on the ground out here. That's all I found. There's no chance she just wandered off on her own? No. No way. Then who the hell took her? I don't know. Last night Vernon came to me and offered to take her with him. Said she'd be better off. Son of a bitch. I knew we couldn't trust that fucker. Wherever she is, I have to find her. Clementine's my responsibility. Can't ask any of you to risk your lives over this. This is something I have to do alone. Lee, man, are you sure that's how you want to do this? I'm sure. This is on me, no one else. Thanks for understanding. It's better this way. We'll get the boat out onto the river. Figure we can wait there until you get back. Or at least until nightfall. Good luck, Lee. I mean that. Yeah, man. Good luck. You too. Hey, 
How is this still going on? Certainly this is- this is the end. Yeah. doesn't have to be any trouble here. All I want is the girl. Give her back and nobody needs to get hurt. <sighs> Man, what happened in the last five, <laughs> ten minutes? Holy crap. Everyone's going to be happy. They got a long episode today. <laughs> wow. Yeah, whenever whenever you got to that last one where you had to choose to reveal the bite or not, I was thinking, yeah, definitely show them the bite. <laughs> and and you're the one making the decisions and you were like, "Nope, hide the bite." And I was thinking, "Okay. All right. Well, then. Okay." And yeah, apparently very few people hid the bite. But in a way, that's also kind of interesting because that means that since most people hid the bite, um, or since most people showed the bite, that a lot of people that probably played this game did that, so now they're going to get to see the consequences of what happens if you hide it. So it's not, not a terrible thing. Anyway, hit, hit A. Who came with you? Wow. What? Hmm. We are the six percent that went alone. Why? Wait. Why did? Why is it just? Oh, is it because we hid the bite? You think? Maybe. Maybe since we hid the bite, we couldn't let them know, and they couldn't come with us. Yeah. Most people took everyone. <laughs> oh no! No, most people was just um, Lee and Kenny. Yeah. Then everyone. It's just. Lee. Interesting. All right. So we're all alone. And that I, do you think that's going to affect I don't know. Like the next thing? The next episode, the next chapter? Maybe. One of those was just Lee and Ben. Yeah. Which is like weird to me, but Dang, man. Wow. Well, on the plus side, we are playing this with the smallest percentage <laughs> option there is. Um, apparently most people did different things than we chose. But did, I'd say you probably made most of the decisions, this one. Um, I didn't think about that when we had the whole list pulled up. Um. I mean, you decided if Clementine came with or not. I decided um, that. You decided about the doctor, because that was one of them. I decided at the end there, and there were two more. Yeah. I think one of them was deciding to kill the boy. Yeah, that was it. So you did that one too. Yeah. But there's only one other that could have been me. I feel like I mean I I feel like my decisions had less effect. Yeah. 
Like, my decisions felt easier. It was like, should you kill the boy? And I was like, yeah, we should probably kill him. Use the wrench. And yours is like, should Ben die? <laughs> <laughs> like, that's always a, a much more uh -huh. difficult choice. Man. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed Chapter 4, Episode 4 of Telltale Games The Walking Dead. Um, as we've done with all the previous stuff, we will be moving immediately from this into the next episode, which is episode five. And uh, I don't even know what to expect. I don't know. Like This game keeps like turning everything on its head. And it does it it does everything, mm -hmm. man. Like every everything that you would think is off limits. They're like, nope, we'll go there. Now we get to see what's uh coming next. Yeah. I wonder if it'll be tailored to the fact that we only have Lee. I think it is. Interesting. Nope. Oh, wait, there's no, no preview. preview. Probably because it would reveal too much, maybe. Yeah, I think so, too. Dang. All right, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Next episode, I am in control, and we start the final episode of season one of The Walking Dead. Man, I have no idea what to expect, but I guess we'll find out. Thanks for watching. See you next time for more Stephen Mount play The Walking Dead.